going, everybody? Bob here, playing a horror game called It's Out There. Well, what's gonna be out there? Hopefully some kind of alien beasts. February. As a member of the Arctic Research Crew, you've been sent to investigate Northgate Polar Research Laboratory, one of your company's research stations at the South Pole, which suddenly lost contact with its mother base. Oh, that sounded a lot like The Thing, my favorite movie. After traveling for almost two weeks, you arrive at the research center. At oh, I didn't get to read it all. How dare you? Well, I'm here. Um. What is this? Hi, Mitchell. I have absolutely no clue, but the doc locked himself up in his room and changed the password. He demanded us not to leave until he finished with his research weird bloke. <laughs> has been acting pretty strange lately. Anyway, I looked at the computer log. The new password is 0911. Hey, Mitch. 0911, all right. Can I just look around out here? Can I see inside? Oh, vaguely. There's an invisible wall. Hey, I got a flashlight to start. I'm liking that. What the what? fuck is that? What the fuck? Well, that might have something to, <laughs> that might have something to do with what's going on here. Yeah, what the hell is the code again? 0911? Gotcha. Let me in. Let me in! Ah, very immersive. I like that. Oh, thank you. Noisy out there. Whoa! Is anybody here? Huh. This does look like a fancy space station. I like these graphics. They're very chunky. But also... It kind of remind me of System Shock. I don't know why. Oh, come on, let me in! Alright. You gotta go deeper into the base. Here's a message from Dr... What is that name? Fedorka? Whoever may one day find this research station, I beg you to not open the door. There is danger beyond human imagination inside that must be contained at all costs. If possible, destroy the station. For the entity is not resistant to fire. Is this the, sh the thing? This is sounding a lot like the thing. If anybody's not aware, go watch the movie The Thing. What is it, 1986 or something? 1984? I don't know, but that movie's amazing. So is there going to be a shape-shifting alien in here? How do I get in, though? That I'm not allowed in. I want to go in. Let me in! <laughs> Am I now allowed to open this door? Uh-oh. All right. Going in. Where have they gone? They've all been assimilated. Oh. If I'm coughing already, I'm already been uh, infected. Great. Guess I'm turning into the next thing. Ooh. My God, is that blood everywhere? There's just blood in. What the hell? Did I just puke? Bruh. You don't have to puke everywhere. That's nasty. What the? Something of December. On New Year's Eve, as we were celebrating, there suddenly was a thunderous roar to be heard outside. Naturally, we went to investigate the source of the unknown sound, and found an asteroid from outer space had landed close to our station. Due to its massive size, it is visible from the research station, even though it's almost some amount of kilometers from here. First investigation suggests it may be possible contained extraterrestrial life after all this could be proof of life in space or aliens or the thing <laughs> where's this monster I know it's gonna come out and assimilate me or eat me let's go go find it where are you beast <coughs> why am I coughing everywhere oh my Yo, this guy's just dead he's not assimilated all right can I not check him well that is a dead man indeed where's this monster <coughs> why am I coughing everywhere Am I already sick? Oh man, I think I caught the plague. Well, what do you gotta say here, bud? Holy moly! Dr. Fedorka here. I'm writing this, sincerely hoping that no one will ever read it. Ten days ago, we found an asteroid close to our base that upon first investigation strongly hinted to contain alien life. Naturally, at first we were excited, but as the days passed, crew members began to show severe symptoms such as swallowing up blood. Ew. 
The timing suggested a link to our most recent discovery. Upon further investigation, however, I was confronted with a terrible finding. The asteroid did indeed contain a microorganism from outer space, which, to my horror, had begun to infect our brains, slowly killing our hosts while using the bodies in a parasitic way to reproduce. Oh shit, this is more like the cordyceps fungus. Oh no, we're being... We're being converted. After careful consideration, I came to the conclusion that such a terrible disease shall never contact humanity, for it needs no more than a little distance within the air to spread. Thus, I disabled the antenna that connects the station with the mainland. I pray to God that I may have what it takes to do what needs to be done. However, I hope to do it in time, as I've begun to develop symptoms myself over the last few days. No! So am I infected now too? What am I supposed to do now? This is just a bad sign all around, dude. The parasite got me too. Now there's nothing left but to blow up the fuel tanks. I gotta blow myself up? You're insane. But okay. Fair enough, actually. What the hell is this? <coughs> oh, okay. Stop puking blood everywhere! Yeesh! What is this? Oh, we're blowing up. Six, Goodbye, cruel world. Three, I won't let the bacteria spread. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I just got blown to smithereens. That was a cool little story, dude. You made this in 20... 2024. Someone's impersonating me. Don't download the game. Then. Oh, that sucks, dude. Hey, go give this guy some love. I love I love this guy's games. They're great. Thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. Dude, you make great little games. They're really fun. And this one had a good story. It was very cool. Hey, I always leave the games in the description. Give this one a download. Give it a play. Go give LOL Scrub some love and some, some support. He deserves it. It's very cool. Oh no, he's going to be inactive for a little while. Okay, I guess I'll read this whole thing. Seeing the effect my game takes on people, seeing you guys react to them, make videos, write comments, or simply just download them is definitely the most rewarding thing when it comes to game development for me personally. When I started making games some years ago, I learned it from boredom during quarantine, I would have never imagined getting this far. Today I have hundreds and thousands of downloads on my games, which is just amazing. I cannot put it into words, but I'm also a native speaker. So far the journey has been amazing and I have met some really awesome people along the way. Therefore, I am saddened to announce that I will not be able to publish games as often as I would like to from now on, as I am moving to another state to study dentistry. Hey, good on you, dude! Game development made up a large part of my last school years and I hope to return to it at some point. Looking back, I feel old and I'm not even 30 yet. I'm, I'm assuming that says 30. Is this goodbye? Definitely not. More like an explanation as to why I'm not gonna I'm gonna be inactive for an unreasonable amount of time. Maybe just months, possibly years. I hope this little monologue didn't bother you. I just felt like getting this off my chest. Until my next. No way, dude. That that's actually really cool. Go become a dentist, kick some ass. I hope everybody supports you, but please come back, make us more games. You make good little stories and they're fun. Yeah! I give all my love to you, bud. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. Hey, I read and reply to every single comment, so shoot me one, request a game, say what's up, say hey, anything you want to say. It really helps out with the forbidden YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Obi Wan here, and peace out. Of the dark, white tea legend leaves his mama in the realm of horror. Seek prevails, no fear, not the story of hell. Yeah.